an ongoing battle, if I can put it that way. We will never give up. We'll always be there 24-7 to ensure that we do our job and, and take these illegal firearms off the streets. Detective Superintendent Arthur Katsianis is on one side of a battle. Up against him are the owners of tens of thousands of illegal guns, many of them protecting criminal gangs, drug dealers and their cash. It's a part about intimidation, protecting their business interests, and firearms are one of the ways that they do that. Here, in the heart of the city, in an underground secure car park, detectives made an extraordinary discovery. A car full of guns and explosives, along with night vision goggles, silencers and stun guns. But what police are most worried about is not where they found this arsenal, it's the type of guns they found. These are the weapons seized in that raid. This is a Chinese SKS military rifle, which is not manufactured in Australia and is a prohibited firearm. This is a Ruger Mini 14 uh, firearm. Again, it's a prohibited firearm. Over there, you've got a Uzi submachine gun. This Uzi can blast out more than 10 rounds in just a second. There can be no reason for a civilian to ever own such a weapon. And over here, which was part of the weaponry seized, is a small homemade keyring pistol. You can see from that that it has a double barrel. And these are the trigger points over here. And this is powerful enough to uh, penetrate and kill a human being. Police say this mobile armoury was being used by the Hells Angels motorcycle gang. These weapons, they're designed to do some serious damage. Absolutely, and this is uh, part of the battle that we as police face, particularly in targeting outlaw motorcycle gangs and organised criminal networks who are prepared to use uh, this type of firepower to protect their business interests and further their criminal activities. And last week, in another gun crackdown, Police arrested four men, one a senior member of the Hells Angels, along with this 61-year-old man arrested on the Pacific Highway north of Sydney. It's a common image on our news screens. Police raid yet another bikey clubhouse. Arrests follow. Is it just bikey gangs that are responsible for these recent shootings? No, that's, that's not entirely correct. Um, a very small portion that we believe is about 5% of the recent shootings were in relation to outlaw motorcycle gangs. Many of them were related to organised criminal networks. But according to Superintendent Katsianis, a startling trend is emerging. Young individuals, wannabe gangsters, if you want to call them, who are in possession of illegal firearms and are prepared to use those weapons to uh, settle business disputes or personal disputes. Now, that is a concern for us. There are so many illegal guns in Australia, authorities have no real idea of the exact number. But the quantity seized in New South Wales alone is staggering. During the past 12 months, during the last financial year alone, we've, we've seized 9,500 weapons, which is 2,500 more weapons than the previous year. Operation Apollo is designed to combat gun crime. During the last six months that they've been operating, they've um, arrested 371 individuals, they've preferred 700 charges, and we've seized 78 illegal firearms, 50% of those being handguns. My biggest concern is that we do not become desensitised or apathetic towards gun crime and do not leave any legacy for our children and the future generations. Uh, we're responsible for this and we need to act now to make sure that we stop it.